I'm Dave Flynn and I'm the founder and artistic director of the Irish Memory Orchestra. So the Irish Memory Orchestra is, um, basically I set it up as a vehicle for my own music and it evolved to be like an orchestra for modern Ireland. It uh, mixes traditional musicians with classical musicians and some jazz musicians so you get a mix of enum pipes and fiddles with cellos and double basses and then electric guitars, drums, things like that. The orchestra performs by memory, without sheet music, which is very unusual in the context of an orchestra in the Western world. We really represent a modern Ireland. The beauty of what we do is that people who are unable to read sheet music for whatever reason can uh, join us and perform with us. We put out a call for applications for apprentices and one of the apprentices that came through, her mother said she was delighted to see the project because her daughter was visually impaired and had been excluded from other orchestras. It was, it was kind of an offshoot of what we were doing that I didn't realise. When I was told that, I thought, oh, well, that's a, another great aspect of what we're doing. I suppose that then led to this project, the Vision Symphony, because we realised that our orchestra could provide access for blind and visually impaired musicians who usually are excluded from classical orchestra performances because sheet music is required on stage and required to be read. Dave Flynn's Irish Memory Orchestra plays music by the heart and straight from the heart. It brings together the finest classical, jazz and trad musicians and they have really wowed audiences around the globe with their groundbreaking and inclusive approach to music making. We are here in Galway's Black Box Theatre and this week the professional members of the Irish Memory Orchestra have been rehearsing alongside talented young members of the IMO Youth Orchestra and Choir and Clush Claddy Chamber Choir. What's really special about this project is that this week, musicians who are blind and vision impaired have been able to rehearse and perform alongside their full-sighted colleagues on an equal footing. So all of the musicians taking part in this project are performing by memory, so there'll be no sheet music at all on the stage. And with this, the notion of any disability or visual impairment recedes and all the musicians play as equals. In the orchestra, I am the harp mentor and I'm also playing harp one, which is a great experience because the last time I played the Vision Symphony, I actually played harp two, so I get to play a new part this time around. As a vision impaired musician, you find you have to learn music off by heart because if you are depending on the music, you're not going to be able to perform to your best because you're going to be so focused on sight reading and everything. So I find that as a visual impaired musician, you actually feel like you can connect to the music a lot easier because when you perform, you don't use the music, you don't have it as kind of a hindrance when you're playing. So therefore, you're able to put yourself more into the music. For anybody who has any sort of disability, visible or otherwise, because I sometimes think, for me, people don't really know that I've got the eyesight problem unless they see me looking at a phone. But in general, I would say, try everything you want to try. Because if you decide before you've even tried it, that you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, I found the experience very cool, that like you have to learn it all often. Not everybody can see like you can. It's like a cool experience that you probably won't get again. I've been inside Neve Barry this week. She's been a great help because she's been giving me a lot of bowing and fingering techniques to get the tune as like, polished as possible for the concert on Saturday night. I'm looking forward to seeing the whole thing come together. It certainly does open things up to being able to work with musicians who are visually impaired. As you're listening to the people around you, there isn't as much of a need to have visual cues from the conductor. You're physically sort of feeling what's going on around you. People are moving and you're listening to their breathing, you're listening to foot tapping, you're listening to all sorts of things going on around. So I think that kind of opened the door in a way to be able to work with people who are visually impaired. I've been like, you know, passionate about music since I was 
around three or four. I compose a piece and then I'm also singing in the choir for the other pieces as well. Like everyone in the choir is singing it, it's, it's just really great to hear people singing my, you know, my piece, like my work. It's just like, it, it gives you a good feeling and the way they sing it too, it's, it just sounds so good and like I can't wait to hear it on Saturday with the whole orchestra and all of the choir joining in and everything. It's gonna sound so, so great. It was a pleasure working with the Irish Memory Orchestra and hopefully I'll be able to do it again. It's definitely different to a regular orchestra kind of scenario. I think you can see it on stage and after the performance and it tends to be a thing with the Memory Orchestra anyway. The unique kind of a thing, there's no well, the rocks are quite like it in the world, and the musicians, I think, kind of know that. And so, just the whole idea of playing an entire orchestra concert by memory and getting through it, that's an achievement in itself, you know. You can see people feel a lot more achieved than if they were just reading through the dots, you know.